Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, go on and hit that like and subscribe button for me. You know what I mean? Game abroad. <laughs> Thought we have a little walk and talk down Copacabana. Uh, have a little story time uh, about how I was almost unalive at the favela in Brazil. <laughs> now, uh, if y'all been following me, uh, I was here before. This is my second time back in Brazil. Uh, the first time, you know, I want to do a lot of sightseeing and seeing things and doing things, you know, uh, uh, which included the favelas, you know what I mean? And uh, I really didn't know how I was going to do it. You know, a lot of the guys, when you come out here, they, you know, they they ask you, you know, for tourist things, you know, come do this and that with them, you know what I mean? They'll show you the favelas, uh, they try to sell you this and that, you know. And uh, one guy just kept asking me, you know, he was selling some on the beach. And he just kept asking me when I walked back and forth, you know. And uh, so finally I was like, cool, man, I want to see the favelas, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he was like, yeah, yeah, my brother, brother, I'll take you. I'll take you to favela, you know. <laughs> and so I was like, cool, man, you know. So uh, I came back later on that night, you know, and we met up, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I gave him a little dough to take me. And he took me to a club, you know. Uh, they had a little club at the favela, a little favela area. They had like some kind of neighborhood club. Oh, it was pretty cool. Everybody knows pretty cool, you know. Uh, so we went over there. Uh, but before we went over there, though, he took me to uh, his his little spot where he was staying or around where he was staying, you know. Uh, it was like a store or something he stayed on top of or whatever. And, uh, you know, he they made me some food and everything. It was cool, you know. They made me some food and all. Uh, I'll check them out on the beach, man. They always on the beach playing that volleyball. I need to get out there with them one day. <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, uh, he uh, yeah, he made me some food and shit. Everything was cool. Hey, what's going on, my friend? I watched your channel. Oh, dude, <laughs> game abroad. <laughs> so yeah, man. Uh, yeah, they made me some food and everything, and everything was cool. You know, shit. Uh, it was still kind of early, and then you know, got a little later. Uh, we went to the little club spot. You know. It was cool, you know, uh, you know, it was partying, drinking, you know. Uh, I was showing him love, you know. You know how it is you come down here. I was showing him a little love, you know. Uh, buying some drinks for him and, you know, a couple girls and things like that. And uh, so, yeah, it was cool, man. I had fun, man. You know, uh, everybody was cool. Everybody was nice. You know, I know the Fat Bellas get a little reputation just because of, you know, how they may look or, you know, whatever. But it was cool, man. Everybody, like, respectful, want to have fun, this and that. But, uh yeah, the guy that I was with, you know, as the night went on, you know, like I said, I gave him a little dough to take me around and take me to the favelas. Uh, you know, he decided to get drunk and, you know, get some drogas, you know, cocaina, you know what I mean? All that kind of thing like that there. So, you know, that's his thing. I wasn't knocking him, you know, whatever. But, you know, I was with him, though, you know what I'm saying? I'm with him, you know, so uh, he was getting loaded, you know, and whatnot. Uh... And then, you know, the night went on and he started kind of acting funny, you know what I mean? He just started, you know, them drugs kicked in and he was, uh, he was just on one, you know what I mean? I mean, everybody else was cool, though, but he, he was just acting weird, you know? And, uh, I, I, I even met a couple chicks, man, a chick that I'm, like, kicking it with real strong out here. I met her up there, so, you know, that was cool. But, yeah, like I said, though, the night went on, man, he was getting loaded, man, you know, shit. And, uh, he started acting weird. And uh, so, you know, the club closes, you know, so I'm kind of ready to, oh, and I'm good, bro, appreciate it. So, you know, I'm ready to kind of, you know, get ready to go home or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? But mind you, I haven't really seen the favelas. We just went to the club, you know what I'm saying? So he was like, oh, brother, come on, let's go, uh, you know, show you around with the woo, you know, da, da, da. you know, so I'm like, I don't know, man. I might want to go back to Partimento. It's late, you know, because shit, it's like three in the morning but at this time. You feel me? And I really didn't want to be in this motherfucking favela, you understand me, at 3 in the morning. And this motherfucker acting crazy. He, he full of that stuff, you feel me? So, I don't know, man. I was like, all right, man, you know, because everybody else was pretty cool, though. They was like, they was cool, man. They was real respectful and just wanted me to have fun. And they kept saying, tranquilo, tranquilo, because they know I was kind of nervous, man. You know, I didn't know what the hell to expect, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... Yeah, you know, so after the club, you know, I'm like, all right, man, you know, take me around. Now, mind you, in the favela, when we get there, like, it's like a winding hill, you feel me? And it goes all the way up. This is the Bigidao favelas. They got many favelas uh, in Rio. 
uh, but this is the Vigi Gal. They call it Vigi Gal. And, um, you know, it's like when you go in, cars can't really go in there. They do motorcycle rides up and down the hill, you know, kind of like a taxi service, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, cars can't really go up and through there. So, you know, we walked it all the way up to the club and up into the favelas we was walking. So, and I was with him, you know, I really didn't know where I was at and how to, you know, get back. So, you know, I was kind of stuck, you feel me? <laughs> and uh, so I was like, yeah, man, let's go, let's go. I right, see, you know, so we seen a couple things and we going up the motherfucking favela, you know, all the way to the top, you know. These motherfuckers doing all kind of stuff, you know. They they hustling and they, but like I said, everybody was cool though. Like no one, no one. I, I never really felt threatened at that point. You feel me? And uh, so you know, we walk in. You know, I'm like, okay, I'm getting kind of nervous. You know, now after time go by, and I kept telling him, all right, man, I think I'm, you know, I'm ready to go now. You know what I mean? He's like, no, no, man, come on, come on, brother. You know, all that old shit. So you know, I'm like, damn, bro, I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? And he steady trying to walk me more and take me to see more shit and this like i said it's three in the morning you feel me <laughs> so i'm like damn all right so uh you know you know we walking and things and he, and he met up with one of his boys though you know another 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 you know another druggie you know what i mean <laughs> and uh you know they start talking you know you know, I understand a little Portuguese. I speak Portuguese. I understand a little bit. You know, when they start talking real fast and using, you know, slang or whatever, you know, I can't catch all the words. You feel me? So, you know, uh, you know, time going on and by, you know, it's getting late and they walking and talking to each other, you know, uh, kind of off to the side, you know. And I'm trying to catch words they saying. And like every five minutes, they kept stopping, you know, and I'm like, bro, I'm ready to go, you know what I'm saying? You know, they start looking at me crazy, you feel me? And I'm like, okay, uh, you know, I don't know what's gonna go down now, but you know, uh, I'm at this point, I'm trying to plan an escape just in case, you know, uh, something go down, you feel me? I'm planning escapes on how where I should run and should I jump off this building and run up under this car or whatever. <laughs> you feel me? Like I'm planning, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, like I said, they stopping every five minutes. They talking fast, you know. And one time I, you know, as time went on, you know, stopped again. And this boy was talking. They and, and at this point, they kind of arguing back and forth with each other, you know, because it seemed like one of them wanted to do something and the other one didn't. I don't know if it was to me or what. You feel me? So you know, they stopping and talking. And at one point, his boy kind of, kind of, you know, they was talking. He looked at me. He kind of made a a gun a gun with his hand you know what i'm saying and kind of like pointed it at me it says something about you know mata you know that means die you know and i'm like what the hell <laughs> you know what i'm saying bro straight up fam so at this point i'm really like okay you know what i mean i'm really planning my escape now man you know i'm looking for rocks and every motherfucking thing if i got a chunk one and bust somebody in the head with it or what <laughs> now nah, for real so uh you know, they kept walking and talking, so I'm like, okay, man, at this point, if they want to do something to me, they gonna do it, you know, they can. But, you know, people was telling me, you know, the favelas really ain't like that. They can't just, they can't just, uh, you know, they can't just go willy-nilly and, uh, you know, do something to an American like that. It's gonna be hell to pay. You know, they got bosses, it's a gang. You know, the dude I was with, he really wasn't nobody, you know. Uh, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, I kind of had that in the back of my head, you know what I mean? Because I know they got a kind of a little order in there, you know. It is the favela, but you can't just, you know, you can't just wild like that up in there, you know what I mean? Even the people that live there, you know, from what I heard, you know. So, I'm, I'm holding on to that, you feel me? <laughs> and so, you know, uh, yeah. yeah, so I'm holding on to that, you know. Okay, like, okay, I heard it's cool. I heard, you know. They just don't really get down like that, you know, because if something happened to American up in there, you know, they're going to have you know, the embassy, you know, it's going to be, it's, you know, and then they can't really do their thing up in there like that. So that's why they want to keep the heat down. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, so I was a little shook, but then I was a little, you know, I felt a little okay, you know. So we kept walking, you know, and then every corner we hit, you know, uh, the dudes out there working, you know, these dudes got machine guns strapped, you know, strapped around them, you know, Rambo style. They, they on the block securing, you know, it's, it's like that, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, because 
you know, I guess they trying to protect their business and protect their hood, you know. But yeah, every, they had people on patrol, man. You did what I'm saying? With machine guns, Jack. I mean, it was crazy, man. It ain't like the projects in, in America, you know what I'm saying? So that's when I got real nervous. But the people with the guns, they was like, oh, no, that's their job to me, you know. They was they was telling me it's all good, you know, cool. You know, they were saying hi and, you know, they was, I, you know, they wasn't threatening it at all. I was just looking at them damn machine guns strapped around them at 3 in the morning up in this motherfucking Vavella, you feel me? <laughs> so... You know, time went on. Then we kind of start walking back down the hill, and I start getting happy. <laughs> now, for real, I start getting happy. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm we headed back to salvation. You feel what I'm saying? So we got a little closer and closer down the hill, and we stopped. You know, at another little spot. You know, where they doing their thing at? More machine guns. But like I said, everybody was cool. You know, at this point, I had a lot to drink. I'm about to throw up. I'm nervous. I don't know. You know what I mean? And. uh you know, we got around some more people and they was all cool. It wasn't just them two having a little conversation. And uh, that's when I, I started feeling a little better, you know what I mean? And at that point, you know, I started seeing motorcycles. Like I said, that's the little taxi service they got. They was, you know, they'd be ripping and running, you know, dropping people off. And one of them had stopped, you know. I mean, he was talking and uh, see, I was like, I'm ready to go, you know. <laughs> so, so I hopped on one of them motherfucking, uh, and they was like, all right, bro, you can go, like, they was like letting me leave at that time. I, mean, I don't know, it was kind of weird because he pulled up and I was talking to him and, and they kind of was like, oh, you know, they knew I wanted to go. That's what it was. Because, you know, when they was doing their little talking back and forth amongst them, you know, to me it was like one of them wanted to get down on me, but the other one was like, nah, you know, you, you can't do that. You know, I think that's what I gathered from it. You know what I'm saying? And I think the guy that brought me there, uh, you know, probably wanted more money or something, you know. And luckily, you know, I took my chain off. I ain't have much money on me, you know, wallet. So, you know, I didn't want much they going to get, you know. <laughs> anyway, you know what I'm saying? Shit, so, yeah, man, I hopped on that motherfucker. It's, at this point, it's five in the morning, man. It's five in the morning, Jack. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so, I'm ready to go. I hop on that motorcycle, man. I threw that helmet on. Shit, man, we got up out of there, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I came back to my uh, motherfucking apartment, you know. So, yeah, man, it was hell, man. Like, you know, it was fun. It was a, it was an experience. I had all kind of emotions just running through me at once, you know. I was happy. I was having fun. Then I got scared as hell and didn't know what the hell was going to happen, you know. Especially when dude made the little gun sign with his hand. I didn't know what that was about, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Uh, but, yeah, man, I made it up out of there, Jack. But, you know, when I look back on it, you know, it wasn't that, you know, I, I guess I wasn't that... It wasn't that threatening. It was just them two. You know, like I said, everybody else was cool. And, you know, they had order in there. They can't just really, you know, what they going to do? Knock me off and throw me up under the car? I mean, you know, they going to have the whole embassy in America all up, you know. And that, because the five fellas, you know, they, they run their own thing. The police don't really be going up in there like that. But, you know, if something like that was to happen to an American, you know, well then, you know, it, it'll be some, it'll be some, you know, uh, you know, embassy be out up in there, you know, people be calling, you know, they have to restore order. The, the Brazilian the police department, you know, run up in there and uh, restore order, you know, and get things, you know, and look for, you know, and look for whatever they need to find, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, they don't be up in there like that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, hey. But yeah, I got up out of there, man. It was it was crazy, man. I, I really don't want to see no more favelas. I might go during the daytime, you know, with somebody I really vet and really trust you know uh because it's, it's the most stuff i want to see you know like i want to i want to you know meet some more people and you know have some good real you know down home brazilian food you know what i'm saying so uh yeah man that, that was my story of the favelas man you know most people go up in there and you know shit i but i felt like i damn near could have got killed you feel me or unalive excuse me unalive <laughs> uh yeah man so Hey, man, you know, if you come out to Brazil, like I say, man, just, you know, just get with somebody you trust if you want to, you know, go to the favela or whatnot. Get with somebody you trust. And, uh, yeah, check it out. It's experience, man. It's something to see. You know, it's cool. It's, it's definitely something to see. Uh, they're not going to let you film everything because, like I said, they be getting down doing their thing, you know. Uh, so they're not going to let you film at every corner, you know what I'm saying. But, uh. Yeah, man, Fabella, that was, that's my story, man. It was crazy. <laughs>
Yeah, man. Checking out some more of this cocoa, man. It's getting dark now. You know, I'm about to get to work. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> you know, play about to get to work. You hear me? Got this caprina. You did? I'm about to get to work. Alright. Alright. Yeah, but I'm ready for the sun to get. I've been here for like three, four days, man, and it ain't really been much sun. It ain't cold, definitely not, but, you know, I want sun and fun. But uh, they said, you know, it's about to get real, real sunny. You know, this is like the high season, the summertime, so, you know, I'll be here for a while, so it's all good. <laughs> all right. All right, guys, well, that's my little story time for now. Like I said, hit the... Hit the subscribe, like, share, all that there. And uh, yeah, man, I'll catch y'all on the next one, Jack.